السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, From your messages I can tell that we all in the same boat We all have issues right now We all passing really really hard time Some people they are just uh, lost the loved one or some people they lost job or they have financial issue or they can't achieve a dream or can't find this husband or a wife or they are struggling in life struggling you know in to find a job or stuff like that but in general we all in the same boat we all having an really issue we all having hard time now but in fact we all have to support each other because now we you know we stuck no one can just go out of this circle um some sometimes i feel like there is no way out there is no hope what i can do to get out of this the, it, all the doors is closing there's no way to get out of this situation especially if you kind of facing a divorce or you have kind of like illness or disease or cancer actually consider that is um is a fatal issue but anyway um as i said we have to support each other in fact we have to be strong um this is just a reminder for me because sometimes i feel like like you guys sometimes i feel like i'm really weak i cannot take it anymore it's too much for me but um i try to remind myself that it's not you know end of the game we, we we don't know what is coming after we don't know what is allah we're gonna you know put us through again maybe allah we're gonna reward us for this suburb this patient for long because people here they've been praying and and they've been being doing dick reading dick reciting quran for a really long time and they couldn't find any kind of change just don't give up because every single day you wait or every single day you are patient and every single day you accept it allah reward you for this you're not losing time actually um you're just gaining you gaining reward allah give you reward because you are you remain patient under all of this stress and under, under all this pressure around the world now is going mad completely mad you see wars here and there innocent people die everywhere however allah inshallah reward every single person in this situation they are dying or in the war or in a flood or in any kind of hardship allah reward you reward those people for their for their sabr and sometimes i feel like why i have to why i have to 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 go more than that I, I don't want to stay any longer in fact the more you stay the more you do good deed and the more you secure a place in heaven that's why you are here this is the way allah wants you to get your place in heaven he could actually give you whatever you ask it for but he has a view for you different view different plan you plan and Allah has got his own plan um, the other day I saw someone just posting he said I I prayed hard for Allah to secure my cat my cat has got kind of like disease or illness or something like that and I, I, I really prayed hard to keep her alive but at the end of the day my cat passed away so why I have to trust Allah now I've been praying for him making a dua for him but however he never listened to me and I'm really disappointed. I'm really, I'm really upset from Allah. In fact, this is not the issue, guys. You're not gonna lose your relationship. You're not gonna ruin your relationship with Allah because of a cat. I understand. I understand. It's really, really close to you, to you. I'm not against animals or something like that. But imagine that Allah put you on a test and you, you didn't pass it. You didn't pass it. You just uh, failed the test because of anything. It's not necessary to be a cat or, or a person. I want to marry this guy. I prayed hard and uh, this guy married someone else. Or I want this kind of job. And then 
I, I haven't got it. So basically, then you lose your trust. And this is bad because you fail your test. You, you fail it. This is not what you, you meant to be. It meant to be, you should pass it. You should pass the test. You should understand whatever happened around you is not valuable. To lose anything around is not valuable at all. Why? Because Allah made Allah reward you for something even better. Not even, not like here in lifetime. If it's not in here in lifetime, then Allah reward you again in the hereafter. So you're going to be a winner in both, both cases, but you have to remain patient. You have to accept it. You have to accept it, guys. You have to. I understand this is really, really tough time. And I understand that you guys, some, some of you guys watching me now, you are really, really having a hard, hard time. I understand. I am one of you guys. And you know my, my, my health issue. You know that. Not only the, the health issue, everything is going wrong all, all of a sudden. So basically, it's a huge test for every single person on the earth now. Either to be poor or rich or old or young, it doesn't matter. We all going through the uh, hardest. I think it's, this is the hardest time forever. Because seriously, if you, you look around, you see wars here, innocent die here, innocent die here, and people people die with COVID, dead with COVID, passed away with COVID, and the other die with war. They die in the war now in Gaza and in Sudan and in Yemen and. Uh, you, you know, it's, it's too much, too much. Seriously, it's too much. However, our test now is really huge. That's why you have to keep positive as much as we can. You have to push yourself, guys. You have to push yourself because you need to survive. You need to pass this test safely. Because if you're not, you're going to lose the dunya and you lo you're going to lose the hero after. At least, at least if we, we if we if we lost the dunya, at least we still have the hereafter. That's why I keep telling you guys recite Surah Al Baqarah. That's why I said do istighfar, do any kind of dhikr, do as much as you can. You don't need to force yourself to push yourself hard to finish it in one go. It might be hard for you. You might have kids. Do it as much as you can, little by little, daily. Istighfar should be daily. Any any number, any any amount, it doesn't matter as long you do it. As long you do it so hard daily, it doesn't matter the number. As long you do la hawla wa la quwata illa billah, Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad ura salatu al -Burame. You have to do this stuff daily. Daily. It's about time management. Imagine now, any minute... Allah could open all the doors for you. And you see every day we, we post a lot of this, you guys. We, we do every day. I post it every day. So you see, it might you know, open at any time. The life might be open. The arm until tell you that, come on, I'm here now. I'm ready for you. So don't lose your hope. Because it, Allah is going to open the door any minute. As long as you are patient. Any minute you see the, the, the something, the solution coming out of nowhere. Out of the blue. If you are believe that Allah will open the door for you. You have to. Because otherwise you, you're going to lose everything. If you don't believe this way. And if you think this way. You're going to lose everything. You have, we, we all have to think positive right now. Because we don't have any other option. As a Muslim we don't have. As a Muslim we have to believe. If you, if you remember the, five, the six pillars of Iman. The six pillar, uh, pillars of Iman. We believe in Allah and his angels and his prophet and messengers, his books and the day of judgment and Al-Qadr, destiny, khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala. Good destiny and bad destiny is from Allah. So when you lose a beloved one, beloved one or you get divorced, this is a bad destiny. And this is part, part of what... This is part of what what we believe. This is your deal. You said that when you you admit that you are a Muslim and you are a believer, you admitted that you will, you will believe in the five pillars of Islam and you will apply it in your life. We have to apply it. I can't just come and say, guys, I believe I believe in five six pillars of Islam. Six pillars of Iman, not Islam, because you are you are just to stick with the five pillars of Islam: pray and fast and Hajj, Sayyam, uh, Ramadan. And you forgot completely about the six pillar of Iman, which is really, really important. You have to take both of them. Six pillar of Iman and the five pillars of Islam has to be matched together. 